My name is Marissa, welcome back to my channel, and today we are doing another haul. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can follow me on, why do I always do an accent? <laughs> my name is Marissa, welcome back to my channel, and today we are doing a haul, and I hope you like it. And if you don't, I'm sorry. Oh hi, thanks for checking in, I'm still a piece of garbage. Before we get started, this YouTube video is sponsored by, sponsored? What? How did I say sponsored? This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Psych! But the day that we get a sponsorship, just know I'm gonna be hype about it. Like, I'm gonna be like, hey, you feel me? I do recommend Squarespace. I use it. It's pretty great, so. All right, let's get on with the video. This is a box. Wow! And, um, oh my God, that was cringe. Okay, everything I am about to show you was completely free. Do you know why it was free? This video was sponsored by Sephora. Just kidding, again. It wasn't funny the second time. I don't even think it was funny the first time, but um, everything in this box was free, free, free. Everything in this box was free. I'm on the PR list. Just kidding, I'm not important. Okay, let me tell you the real reason why everything was free. Everything was free because I had a bunch of points that I saved up and I saw that my points, I could actually buy things I want because always when they're like, hey, do you want to spend your points? It's like crappy items that I can't use. It'll be like lotion or like foundation and it'll be foundation I can't use or it'll be, um, it'll be like hair products, sis. It would just be a bunch of stuff I couldn't use. Um, I don't really wear perfume. I'm what the kids call a bruh girl. Nobody cares. But I finally went on Sephora, found stuff I liked and got some free items and now I'm sharing it and I'm gonna title this video, everything in this Sephora haul was free because hopefully that'll get me views. And if it doesn't, that's okay, we're used to that. We're used to like, you know, talking to ourselves, you know? Like honestly, YouTube is great for me because I'm gonna talk to myself anyways. So I might as well do what I like, which is film and make it feel like I have a friend, even though I don't and uh, you know, do a video, do a YouTube video, you feel me? Oh my gosh. I kind of want to try these things on in the video because then it'll be like a mix of a haul while also like a review, you know? Like I'm giving you that meaty content. Meaty, meaty content. This is one of my happy birthday gifts that I got from Sephora. It is the milk makeup happy birthday crap. I don't know, it's something. And it comes with stuff. It's like a mini version of a bunch of crap. So we're gonna look at it, okay? My face is way too sensitive and breaks out really easily. I just have acne prone skin. I can't put anything on my face that has oils or fragrances. Fragrances? Oh my gosh. I can't put anything on my face that has oils or fragrances. Why can't I? Have Fragrances, fragrances. I can't put anything on my face that has fragrances. So, since I can't put anything on my face that has fragrances, so there's certain things that I can't put on my skin. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let me show you this item. Milk, makeup, boom. This little bad boy, it's so small. This is so small, do you see this? This is teeny weeny, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. That commercial is iconic. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh, you put it on your lips and your cheeks. <gasps> because of the consistency that it is, it's not a powder, so I'm not gonna use it on my cheeks just so my skin doesn't possibly break out. I'm gonna try it on my lips though. So I'm gonna get really close. Enjoy, enjoy this cl close up shot of my lippies. My lippies, ew. Okay, let's never say that again. Oh, that is just pink. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it had me in the first half. The first half, <laughs> oh, it's so bad. The first half when I was putting on my bottom lip, I was like, oh, I could wear this. And then I put it on my top lip and I was like, 
Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this ain't it. This ain't it. I only like matte or this consistency. I don't like, I don't like gloss. So I don't really wear lip products and they never look good on me. So you could also probably put on your eyelid. I think, yeah. I mean, don't quote me. I'm not, <laughs> not a beauty guru. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong. Kind of tastes good though. So this is a primer. I'm not even gonna bother to try to see if this is gonna work for my skin type. The next product in this box is the Milk Makeup Mascara. So I'm actually really excited about this one because I can actually use it. As you can see on my top lashes, actually you probably can't see, I am wearing eyelash extensions, they're so pretty. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing just regular mascara and eyeliner. So I'm probably gonna be able to use this um, on my bottom lashes. Oh yeah, look at that. She's cute. She's cute, I vibe with this. I'm already wearing mascara on my bottom lashes, so trying it doesn't seem like the move. Uh, this seems pretty good, pretty good. I actually tried on this mascara and I've been wearing it and it's so good, so flipping good. The next item I'm going to be showing you is this thing right here. It is the Bare Minerals set. Let's open it. Not, I mean, not too bad packaging, right? On the back, it has all that crap about what's in it. So they've got a bronzer. Ooh, a bronzer. I'm excited about that. Okay, I thought it was a foundation, but a bronzer is much better. A bronzer, bur a bronzer, a lipstick, a finishing powder, blush, and then mascara. Great. Oh, okay. It looks cute inside. This was created specifically for when you reach 500 points. That's cool. This is the bronzer. It's darker in person. I don't know if it's going to be dark when we apply it. Hopefully it look good. I don't know if it's going to look good. Using this brush, I already kind of has some product from some other things on it. But we're going to ignore that. Ooh, that's kind of... Oh, now it's showing the real color. That's about the real color. I don't know if this is gonna work for me. I don't get the purpose of bronzer, if I'm gonna be honest. You let me know what you think. Let me know if you saw a difference. Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. So I'm gonna try that. If you want an actual review on these items, I suggest that you like go into YouTube and look for this, because honestly, this is me just having fun. This is what it claims it does. Free of visible pores and imperfections, light as air, finishing powder, sets makeup, absorbs all, and blurs the look of pores for a soft focus finish with no flashback in photos. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to test all that, but that's what it says it does. I'm gonna try it on now just for the experience. So this is how it looks. She's a tiny thing. Oh. Why did I smell it? I don't know. When I would get translucent powders, I would always get um, ones that were like brown or tan so that they would just better blend or set with my face, if that makes sense. Um, this one's white. I, it's supposed, to, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be translucent, but some powders, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, they'll make you look a little more white or ashy. Um, I kind of want this to work just so I can put this on during my makeup routine and I'll look less oily throughout the day. Cause I look, I get super oily after an hour of wearing my makeup. And so I always have to continuously like touch up because I can't use a primer or a setting spray. Okay. I totally think it did something. It definitely did something. I look definitely more matte than before. The question is, will this hold throughout the day because I'm wearing a powder foundation versus a liquid foundation? It's looking very matte. I think I like it. I think I'm gonna use it and I think I like it. Let me know what you think. The next item is this blush set right here. I'm already wearing blush. Um, We're gonna try it on anyways. This is the packaging. Here's how she looks. It's called Gen Nude Powder Blush. Well, it's actually, it's a really pretty color. It looks really pretty. I currently use the Tarte blush and I love it. So I don't know if this is going to be good enough for me to, maybe it's something I can do when I'm feeling like I want something different, but the Tarte blush that I use now, I'm in love with it. I love how it looks. Okay, so it's showing up on here as really pink and rosy, which I mean, isn't a bad thing. Okay, so it's really pink and rosy on my end. Um, I don't know, I think I'd use this. I'm not sure, honestly. This whole entire video is just gonna be me saying I don't know. I think I would have to try it 
without blush already on so I can see the real color, the real texture. Um, so I think I'm not really giving you guys a fair advantage or a fair look at it, but from what I'm seeing right now, it's not bad. It seems really pink, really rosy to me. I don't know, that could be my last blush and this blush mixing. Um, you know say. You know say. We have two more items in this box. Um, the next one is the mascara. Let's go. Now I'm gonna have a lot of mascara, dude. What was I thinking when I ordered this? I think I was just ordering stuff to order stuff, honestly. I was like, oh, it's free. Dude, give me all of it. Just give it to me. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't even, even think about it. Okay. I am loving this packaging, bro. This is five. This is cool. Whoa, let me calm down. My voice is not sounding cute right now. Okay, this is five. This is cool. I really like the packaging. I like how thick it is, bro. And then it has like this little pattern thingy on it. Okay, this is five. This is cool. I'm liking this. This is cool. Um, oh, oh, that is not what I was expecting. Look at it. It's all, it's weird looking. Look, looks weird. Looks different than most mascaras. So I'm not even gonna bother to try this on, but I really like how it looks. I believe it's called Mineralist and Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. Mineralist. So uh, these brands, they just, they, they add a bunch of words just for marketing purposes. Like Hydra, does it really do all that? Hydra Smooth the Freak? Of course, it is the size of my pinky. It is literally the size of my pinky. It is so small. But again, I don't have lipstick that I like. So let's see if I like this. Probably won't. This is the shade. It's an interesting. It's just interesting shade. Let's try it. Oh, it almost broke. Right, right then and there, it almost broke. <laughs> Sorry, that was me gagging at the smell and this color. Uh, Bare Minerals, if you're watching this, sponsor me. But for the purpose of this video, you know, I'm going to be honest to y'all 24-7, 100%. Not going to lie to y'all. Um, this ain't, this isn't cute. <laughs> this isn't cute at all. I look so bad. I wish I liked it. I wish I liked it. Ooh, I didn't apply, I didn't apply it well either. I, I mean, I don't put on lipstick. So why would I know how to effectively apply it? But no oh my gosh i hate that i'm putting this on the internet i look so bad so maybe i'll apply it and then just wipe it off immediately just to give my lips a pink tit tint tit tint tint tint, tint. Mm. the final item and the item that i'm most excited about is this cute little bag yes a bag <sighs> is this cute little bag um it says rebecca mink off Sorry, Rebecca, because I'm definitely pronouncing your last name wrong. But it's this bag, this cute little bag. Uh, and I just need to make a bag. I have multiple, but they always get dirty really quickly, of course. Um, and I've been carrying them, my makeup around. Um, I like to touch up. Ugh. I like to touch up my makeup throughout the day because, you know, oily skin, all that stuff. I don't use a primer, etc. So I have been carrying my makeup in an Ulta bag or H&M bag, all these random bags. And it's just, it's not ideal. So um, got myself a bag. I was kind of wanting to get one, didn't really want to spend the money. So it's really, really cool that I was able to use my points. Um, all right, so this is what it looks like. It has that round shape to it. I, I vibe with it. Uh, this is not something, this pattern is definitely not something that I would choose in a store. But for free, I enjoy anything. <laughs> so this does its job. I'm excited about it. I don't really care all too much how it looks since I didn't spend money on it. And it's going to do its job. It's much better than an Ulta bag or an H&M bag um, to carry that around. So I like this. I think I can fit this in a book bag, fit this in my car. Definitely can throw this in my car and it'll look more presentable than having a H&M bag or a Ulta bag on the floor. And then people are like, what did you get from H&M? Or why do you have an H&M bag in your car? And I'm like, uh... I put my makeup in it and they're like, okay. <laughs> so this will work much better. I love, I'm excited that I have a new, I'm excited about it. So 
I think that is it for today. Um, I am getting tired. Yeah, I'm getting tired. So I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. If you disliked it, dislike, but still subscribe. I don't know. Leave a comment, subscribe, uh, roast me in the comments. I don't know, but get my engagement up, please. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Marissa, or you can call me MJ. Have a great day and Jesus loves you. Okay, bye. <laughs> you like that chin? Was that chin hot? Okay, okay. bye. <laughs>